and welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing some beachy boardwalk wave nail art today. And I started out with um, this bubblegum hot neon pink from China Glaze called Neon and On and On. And um, I did two coats of that. And it's not quite opaque in two coats, but it's not really going to matter for this manicure. And as you can see, I took my white acrylic paint and a small detail brush, and I painted one white line straight down the middle of each nail, and then I took a yellow acrylic paint and painted down one side of the white line in the middle. And then you're going to want a pale blue, and I painted down the opposite side of the white line in the middle. This one was a little sheer, so I had to go over it a few times, but just your whatever pale blue you can find at the craft store. And then, as you can see, I took it again, and I painted on the outside of the yellow line. And then I took the yellow one more time, and I painted on the outside of the first blue line that I drew. So you're going to finish up with five lines there in alternating sequences. And next I took the same detailing brush and a bright um, just mid-tone blue acrylic paint and I'm blocking out where each wave is going to be on each nail. And it's going to be kind of difficult to tell what the waves are going to look like until you get the white detailing on each wave but you'll see it come together in the end. And the reason I, I use a lot of acrylic paints in my nail art because it doesn't dry as quickly as if you use nail polish for your nail art. It's, it's fine to use nail polish and I often do, it's just when I'm doing um, a lot of detailing work. I typically use acrylic because it gives me more time to work without having to worry about it getting sticky. And as you can see I'm taking my white acrylic paint again and I'm just um, painting the outlines of where the um, wave is falling and swelling on each wave. And I base this design off of just like some clip art that I found of a wave and then I just reinvented it on each nail um, after I looked at one. But you don't need to copy this exactly if you're going to recreate this. You can just, um, you know, just imagine where the wave is rising and falling and where the sun is reflecting off each wave and just kind of go with it like I did. Just um, you know, do your first one, like I did that first big wa uh, swelling wave there on the middle finger. You did that first and then you kind of just get a feel for how the waves are going to rise and fall and then you just um, go with it. Make your own little wave design. And um, I'm going to finish up this last nail here and then I'm going to take some acetone and a flat brush and clean up those edges there where you can see some um, acrylic and then I'm going to take a top coat and smooth out my design and make sure your design is dry before you do this step because there's nothing worse than getting done and then smudging it all with your top coat that's a major bummer and make sure you seal the tips too to avoid chipping and there you have it this is a boardwalk-esque beachy nail, perfect for winter time, right? And there you go. And this is how I created the design the ver uh, first time. It's using China Glaze 2 Yacht to handle as a base, and I rather prefer it that way, but I just um, wanted to switch it up a little bit for the tutorial. And that's it. Enjoy these behind the scene moments, and I'll catch you next time. Am I poopy? Oh, bucket. What a goose. Yeah. Now what's gonna end up happening is my battery's gonna die here in a second. Like awesome battery does. <laughs> 
nasty nails, is that what you said? Okay. So then we're gonna do a big wave like this. And we're gonna be up here. Oh my goodness, my battery's flashing red. Would you be able to find the battery cord for me? That's blue. Sweet home Alabama. Has he had his medicine today? Um, yeah. Have you had your medicine today? Yep. Have I had my medicine today? Don't know. We can't forget to do the garbage in the morning. Yeah, that's what I meant, like for tomorrow, we can't forget it. Oh, another good reason not to do live sound. I don't think you'd like it very much if I uploaded this with live sound. Huh? I don't think you'd like it very much if I uploaded this with live sound. I don't really care. Oh, okay. So, now I'm just going to top coat it and I will be ready to try to edit this mother.